basketball wives. You know, we want our Jennifer Williams to be happy. She's been through a lot. Um, we will never forget the infamous scene when um, Eric Williams, her ex-husband, threw uh, Martini in her face. I mean, close range, threw it hard. I drowned watching it. Um, but um, I don't know about this new dude, Jennifer. Now, allegedly, Jennifer is engaged to Christian. Um, and allegedly, um, she's uh, allegedly pregnant by him as well. Um, I say congrats. Listen, any little blessing that any of us can get in life, any little bit of happiness, even if it don't last long, just take it in. <sighs> but I just don't know. I think he's handsome. I think that... Um, he talks a good game. I think that he, to the outside, has it all together. Um, but I just don't know, Jennifer. And uh, watching these past two episodes and um, watching how he's all up in the camera. You know, he's following you around everywhere. Also, um, on the next episode, he's going to confront Vanessa about what she was saying that he has however many kids and that kind of stuff. I felt like that was unneeded um, because Vanessa had already got cussed out by Jennifer. Vanessa had already got cussed out by Evelyn. Vanessa even got cussed out by Brooke. Like, I don't think that Vanessa needs you, sir, to cuss her out and, and, and show out on her. It was just, it was given too much. It was teen too much. Um, so we're going to see, uh, we're going to just wish Jennifer Williams the best. Lord knows. I hope sis don't get caught up in, in the wrong thing again. Jesus Christ. Anyway, <clears throat> so I'm going to, I'm going to review these past two episodes. Then I'm going to go on him. And then I got to do my Orlando review. Basketball wise. Okay. I got to watch the episodes though. So y'all bear with me. So, um, let me see. So, uh, we have Vanessa, Evelyn, and Jackie out. They just left Arizona. Evelyn had just scapped Clayana. And uh, they're out to eat, talking or whatever. Evelyn tells <coughs> Evelyn tells the girls about that she has a um, domestic violence foundation or whatever. for, And, um, you know, she wants them to come. She's basically going to have like a... They'll sit down where they sit down and tell their stories and stuff. And they said, um, sure, I'll come. Um, <clears throat> let me see. And in Vanessa's mind, she feels like Evelyn has the wrong impression of her relationship with her husband. I think that um, Vanessa feels like Evelyn thinks that she's battered and bruised. Um, but she says that that's not the case in, in Vanessa's mind. Her and her husband is still very much so in love. Um, bless her heart. Bless her heart. And and abuse comes in all different forms. It's not just somebody physically putting their hands on you. But I digress. Um, <clears throat> anything else happened in that scene? Oh, Evelyn says she don't feel bad about scalping Clayana. Um, she's over it. And she don't like her. Um, let me see. Oh, uh, Vanessa also talks about expanding gyms. Her and her husband owns a gym together and they're thinking about expanding it to LA um, versus or selling it from Arizona and taking it to LA, LA something like that. <clears throat> so Evelyn and Brittany, they meet up and talk and Brittany's whole thing is that this group has double standards. The OGs are annoying and bullies. And um, if you don't follow their rules and do things their way, then you're going to be on the outs and you're going to be a target, etc. All the things that we've seen from Basketball Wives, that it's just true. Um, you know, but I've, but I've said this before. In this particular case, I watched Basketball Wives for many years. In this particular case, this particular season, the girls... The OGs are on their best behavior compared to what they used to be like. All of them used to be the hottest of messes. They all still are. But it's, it's subdued this season for whatever reason. 
Um, but they have actually welcomed the new girls <clears throat> compared to how they used to be back in the day. They would come for those girls and bully those girls off the bat. But they've been rather welcoming. Um, Clayana, um, although I can understand where Britney's coming from and I can agree with her, a lot of that Clayana brought on herself. Clayana was over the top. She was aggressive. She was nice. That first episode we met her. And then it was hell after that. She just started coming for people and her mouth is nasty. Um, and I just don't understand. She's, she's, she's off something. Bless her heart. But um, yeah. So Brittany, she's clearly taking sides. She met up with Clayana later on and she's taking sides and um, pretty much says that she don't want to be a part of this and she don't want to be in the group. Which is good. Good for you. Good for your sanity. Because eventually they'll turn on you, um, Brittany. Um, I just hope that they don't um, turn on my girl Giselle. Because she is one of the best additions to the show has seen in a while. We love Giselle. Um, but I think Giselle got something for him. I don't think she's scared of none of them. That's Mississippi, baby. So, um... But as far as Brittany, I think you're picking the wrong side, sis. I mean, you know, I don't know. If nothing else, at least stay on the show one or two more seasons if they have you, at least for money reasons. Unless you got something else going on, I don't know. But judging by them wigs, I don't think you do. Uh, so we're going to move on from that. Um, and Clayana, she still don't see a problem with, any, with what she did. And Clayana's crazy. Uh, moving on, um, let me see. <laughs> Brittany, she went on a blind date with this cute little dude. He's younger than her. Um, you know, he seemed to be cool, but she's kind of just not really sure. So we don't know what that's gonna, um, what's going to happen from that. Uh, let me see. <clears throat> Giselle, at one point, we um, she was talking to her son through FaceTime, who's in Mississippi right now. You know, she's out here in L.A. making money moves literally making money moves and um, she feels guilty and um, because of her relationship with her son and how she's away from him right now she kind of can relate to her mom now because she blamed her mom for a long time she felt like her mom wasn't there for her as much as she would have liked um, but mama had to work mama had three jobs mama had three kids she was a single mom mama had stuff to do and now since Giselle is in that in a similar situation now she gets it and, and she understands. So um, she called and talked to her mom and apologized to her. And, you know, it was cute. We love Giselle. She she gives all the things, the looks, the fashions, the personality, um, the wit, the the relatableness, the business. Giselle got it all. She got it going on. Um, <clears throat> okay. Jen and Evelyn went on a double date. Vaughn is in town, which is Evelyn's uh, business partner. <clears throat> well, her man. But now I see why they're together. He's he's a good he's a good dude overall. But it's it's a business situation. Vaughn is very smart, and Vaughn can offer Evelyn jewels and things business wise that probably her past relationships could not. Um, he actually genuinely likes her and cares about her. <clears throat> I don't think Evelyn likes him like that. I've said that, and I'm going to continue to say that. Um, I don't think he's Evelyn's type. I think she likes him enough. I think because of her past um, dealings with men that she is going with the complete opposite of just what she's actually attracted to. Not that he's a bad looking guy. I think he's handsome. But um, yeah, she's just into bad boys. She's into athletes. She's into that whole thing and he is nothing of the sorts so um in this case i wish vaughn the best and i wish evelyn um so um jennifer and evelyn they went on um a blind date and jennifer says she like them and blah 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 domestic violence situation evelyn she went down the line of um things that she's been through since she was young she had her daughter at 16, her daughter, Shanice. Um, you know, she's from the Bronx and all that. And, um, you know, she, she said she saw her aunt. 
you know, um, her boyfriend or whatever, just like his nugget, and then went right back on and cut a papaya. And, um, you know, she's she's had a guy hold a thing to her head. Um, she's been kicked, punched. She said it's just a lot. Bless her heart. Honestly, I don't wish that kind of stuff on nobody. People are crazy. Men are crazy. Women are crazy. Everybody's crazy and need help from, from childhood and deal with their issues because it's just be crazy adults, child. Um, Jen, you know, she talked about her issues and all the money men done beat her out of and um, Eric throwing a drink. Uh, Brittany, she talked about <clears throat> her um, ex being kind of aggressive and rough with her at times and she just didn't like that feeling. Um... Vanessa, she says that she was in a car that was shot at multiple times. And uh, she says she never got hit, the grace of God, um, that there. And uh, so, you know, we're just praying for everybody. And domestic violence is not okay in any situation, in any type of relationship, whether it's a man and a woman, two women, two men, uh, whatever. However you identify, it's uh, putting your hands on somebody is never okay. Get help. Okay. So moving on, we see Giselle, Evelyn, and um, Brooke. They're coming together. Giselle, uh, Brooke has a um, foundation called K&B Life Foundation, which is named after her, Brooke, and her daughter, Kayla, um, who passed away. And basically, it's a foundation to raise money to help people. Uh, she's having a fundraiser to raise money and, and help cosmetology students get through it financially because she went to cosmetology school she said her daughter went to cosmetology school and i think maybe her mom or something like that somebody else in the family and so she's just doing this in honor of her daughter um so they come over and talking and evelyn and Giselle um is helping her out and she's trying to raise twenty thousand dollars we also find out that brooke and her ex-husband um they're still friends and um, she has not signed the divorce papers yet because they still very much so do care about each other and do things for one another. Um, he still cares about Brooke. It seems like he's been trying to get back with Brooke since they, since he cheated, um, as, as they often do. Um, but they have trauma bonding because he lost a child as well. And she said that when she lost, when she got the call that she lost her daughter, he was there. Like he was literally there in the room. So all she had was him to console in. So it's it's such a deep emotional attachment that they have to one another. Look, I've never really been in a relationship, to be honest with you. I don't know how I would be in Brooke's situation. Um, because that is a horrible situation. We're praying for Brooke. Um, so I can't really say what I would do in that situation, but I just personally believe. Um, an ex is an ex for a reason. All those old traits, issues, whatever will eventually resurface. Um, but sometimes going back to your ex works out, you know, sometimes. Uh, so we're going to pray for Brooke, um, Brooke's sanity um, at the end of the day. And, and if they do get back together, hopefully Stephen is not cheating again, child. Who cheats on Brooke Bailey? That thing fine, child. I just these men are just all off the chain, baby. Um, so yeah. Let me see. Jackie, she has this little show on what channel? I don't know. Is it on the internet? Jackie show? I don't know. But anyway, Brittany was the guest. Brittany talked about her mom. She said she wasn't always close to her mom because her mom did not raise her. Her grandparents did. I don't know if she meant her mom's mom, her mom's parents or her dad's parents. But anyway, um, she just recently got close to her mom. But, you know, they're fine now. And um, one thing that she said that I thought was a beautiful quote um, is she said um, she's just doing the best she can and hope that her best gets better. I said, yes, ma'am. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up for me, me. Lord, Vanessa, 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 bless her heart. So Vanessa owns a gym, like I said, with her husband Isaiah. We see him. There is absolutely no romantic connection between those two people at all. Um, nothing. He stands way apart from her. Found out they don't even wear their wedding rings. 
Vanessa brings up to him um, Jackie and how her and Doug renew their vows every year. He cut her off instantly. He said, I ain't with it, bruh. They went to go um, look at a potential gym that she wanted and he wasn't really feeling it. She wants to move out here to L.A. He wants to stay, I guess, in Arizona, wherever he's at. He's not into it, but he said, well, I support you from afar. Yet, Vanessa want to renew wedding vows. Vanessa, sis, if you don't leave this, first of all, leave that bang. Do something with that hair first. And after that, if you don't get some divorce papers together and get your little money you're going to get from him and gone about your business, what a terrible situation you're in. She was just like, she just don't want her kids to bro grow up in a broken home. I'm like, girl, it's already broken. What are you talking about? You can't fix no no relationship by yourself. What are you going to do? That man is not... That man is about... That man is for the streets. Or whoever he with. It's the reason he don't want to leave his hometown. He probably got a whole nother wife and family and everything. Girl, if you don't go on about your business, get your self-esteem and cut that bang. Girl, what you got going on? We're going to pray for Vanessa's sanity because she's doing her best to keep her family together. But it seemed like the family could care less. <sighs> Lord Jesus Christ. Then her um, her business partner called her or whoever he was and said that, um, you know, uh, the offer fell through because somebody else got the building before her. Because whoever owned the building went with the bigger offer than what they was offering. So Vanessa, she's just having a rough time. Here on the Basketball Wives show. But you know what though? I am interested in R Vanessa's redemption story. Vanessa, we've seen you down bad. But now it's time for us to see you do better. Um, and so I would love for Vanessa to come back next season. Um, but Vanessa, ain't nothing going to get better till you leave that man. I mean, he ain't into you. Go and find somebody else. He ain't even that cute. <sighs> I ain't never heard of him before this show. So, Chapley. Um... Okay, so what else is going on, y'all? Brooke, Jan, and Giselle, they meet up and talk. Um, you know, we're hoping the best for Jan and Christian's relationship. <sighs> Girl, I don't know. Um, and then they, you know, talk to Brooke about her ex-husband and how he's always in the picture, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let me see, let me see. Evelyn could not make um, Brooke's fundraiser because she is, her and LaVon is doing their um their thing where she has, what are they, leggings, gym wear, whatever um, that she has. And so she's um doing that and, and that's why she won't be able to come. Um, so um, Brooke, she has her event. Um, it was lovely. For the fundraiser, they raised over their amount. They raised like 21000 Brooke wanted to raise at least 20000 So good for her. Um, and then she was able to give the grant out at an event. And she helped multiple kids who was in cosmetology. And it was just a beautiful moment. She read this message, um, you know, thanking everybody who donated. And she brought up her daughter and she cried and I cried. And then at the end, she... Um, set out uh, flowers and stuff and put it in the ocean for her daughter. Um, I probably need to end this review because I'm going to start crying in a minute. But, um, you know, what a horrible thing to lose uh, a child and stuff. And um, that's something you ain't going to never get over. So we're just praying for Brooke's um, sanity. And, um, yeah, hopefully... Things work out for Steven, but Brooks, don't put all your eggs in that one basket. Date and have fun. Jennifer, girl, I don't know. We're going to pray for you. Just keep your eye on them, please. Lord. Um, Evelyn and Vaughn, she don't want that man. Just he gonna, She going to break his heart. I see it now. Um, She's for the streets. Uh, let's see. Who else? It's in a couple. Vanessa and Isaiah, please leave him. Clayana is forever crazy. A clinic. Clayana. Um, 
I, I can totally see Clay on one of them Tubi movies or some on Lifetime, The Crazy Stepmom or or the um the crazy surrogate mom trying to take the baby. I could totally Clayana is a horror movie all in all in herself. She is I, when I look at her eyes, that sweaty wig. I'd be like, Clayana, you are missing your calling. You need to be in acting school because you need to play somebody's psycho sister, cousin, daughter, mama, neighbor, something. You would big bucks, big bucks for Clayana. With that said, I'm Mr. Chalaki. Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus. Follow me at Eskids World. Um, on Instagram at. Let me start over. I'm Mr. Chalaki. Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus. Follow me at Eskids World on Instagram and Twitter. At Eskids World 89 on Snapchat. Chase King on Facebook. Mr. Chalaki on Cash App, PayPal, and TikTok. And as always, run me my money or run me my fade. Run me my money the way I get. Pay. Stay black, stay tuned, darlings, and I'll see you guys later.